Funding for this program was provided by the Annenberg CPB Project. With additional funding provided by the Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation. Hey there, folks. Today I'm going to teach you all the basics of GTA Online for you new players. So, if you're an impatient person like me and skip the tutorial, you're probably more broke than Greece. Just kidding. At least you don't have 378,581,897,915 worth of debt. So, for beginning your optimal GTA Online experience, I highly recommend choosing a female character. Not only will you be a rare lotus flower, but also, more horny 12 year olds will be willing to help you out. What the game doesn't tell you is that as a female character, you start off with two of the most powerful items in the game. A booty and breasts. Check it out. For acquiring money early on, there are two basic ways. Robbing stores and selling cars. To demonstrate to you, I will be robbing this liquor store. What you're going to want to do is take out your pistol and aim it towards the cashier. This lets him know that <laughs> So, you might want to shoot a few bullets at him just so that he knows to hurry up. After that, grab the money and get out to escape the cops. But, if you want to take it seriously, go back in and pop a cap in his ass for being a minority, just like the LAPD do. The other way of making money is by selling cars. Simply take a car to the nearest mod shop. Once you pull in, you'll see two options, sell and repair. If you're a retard, Uh-oh, retard alert! Retard alert class! Then, you'll need to repair it. After you repair the car, oh fuck, they want me to buy some motherfucking microtransactions. Well, guess I'll just sell it. So, because there's so many weapons in this game, there's only two weapons you'll, like, really ever need early on. Uh, these are the only two you'll need, other than the explosives, but those are kind of expensive, so you're probably not going to want to buy those right away. And, uh, yeah, all the other guns are pretty much just trash. Now that you've got your guns, to make more money, just start participating in missions. Remember to always put the missions on hard for the maximum payout. If you feel it's too hard for you, then you need to get good you degenerate. So, this is gameplay from, uh, one of Simeon's missions, and, uh, he doesn't pay much. So, eventually you're going to want to upgrade to Gerald's missions. Um, his missions are fairly hard, but they give some decent payout early on. Because you're most likely weeb trash like me, you're going to find this next step fairly hard, because you're going to need to make some friends. And, uh, you're going to need to make these friends because, uh, heists are your next step up, and they require multiple people. Oh, it's doing the stupid fucking thing where it, where it, where it tells me all the different parts of the fucking heist. <laughs> now, obviously, this is telling me everything that I need to know for the fucking heist, which I've already done before. Sorry about that. Uh, we forgot about that in post production. Anyway, let's skip on to my next piece of advice. Heists are a great way to earn money early on, with each of them paying different amounts based on the difficulty and your cut. You'll want to do the fleece job first. Heists are extremely difficult missions, essentially requiring you to do multiple setups leading to the actual heist. This is some gameplay from the final setup of the fleece job. <laughs> also incorporate mini games such as hacking, drilling, and useless teammates who can't stop fucking dying. Now that you've finished your first heist, you'll be rewarded with the cash that you've earned and an extra $100,000 if it's your first time finishing that specific heist. Since you now have a decent amount of cash from your first successful heist after multiple failed attempts, the best high-end apartment is always the cheapest one. Thankfully, the apartment is close to the beach, so you can take a vacation day if you want to. 
Once you've saved up enough money, you'll be able to buy a supercar. These are the fastest cars in the game and have a lot of use as well. I recommend the Hentai Mobile. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, folks. Until next time, keep praising the sun.